Aloha, aloha, everybody, from the CB Lounge 2112 and from the CB Lounge 2112 Garage. Uh, this summer's really, really been bad when it comes to DX. There just hasn't been nothing for a good month or so. It's just been awful. I was hoping for a good, good summer of DX, and so far it has not materialized. So I just wanted to share a little something, something, a little project here I've been working on. Uh, to still be messing with CB radios while I wait for that DX to come in here to the CB Lounge 2112. So this is what we're doing finally here for the Subaru. All right, everybody. I finally decided to do it. I finally decided to put a CB radio in my Subaru. I've had this President Bill now for almost four years. And President Bill's just not getting much use. That's for damn sure. And uh, now they have this cool ass antenna. I know it's been out for a few years or whatever, but it's the new Virginia from President. Says it can take up to 150 watts for three minutes. So a three minute duration before it melts, I guess. <laughs> but it looks like a nice solution to uh, the problem of going in and out of the garage and trying to make it out without banging the antenna all up and stuff. And it, I think it'll look pretty good on this car. I think it'll kind of look pretty OEM maybe, I don't know. So that's what I'm doing. We're installing that awesome President Bill. I, sh I really love that radio. That's one of the best damn little micro radios I've ever seen, no doubt about it. So that's what we're doing. So I just wanted to Make a video and share my little project here with you guys at the CB Lounge 2112. I appreciate it. And I appreciate you tuning in. All right, so about three years ago, yeah, it's been three years now, I installed a nice direct line to the battery here with a mini fuse. Um, and that runs in conjunction with my uh, amp wiring for my subwoofer amp as well. So I ran all that at the same time. So I have auxiliary wiring straight to the battery already installed in the car and through the firewall. All I got to do is just uh, mount stuff and plug things together and should be pretty straightforward. And you don't have to, supposedly you don't have to tune that antenna. So I'm hoping that, well, you can't tune it as a matter of fact. So you're stuck with what you got. So I'm thinking the center of the roof would probably be the best ground plane and probably be the best place to put it for the best SWR. No doubt about it. So here's what we're dealing with here in the car here. Uh, we already got the trim plates taken off. Um, I made a cool little bracket so I can mount this speaker here. Uh, it goes uh, underneath the plastic here and then mounts on the inside. That way I don't have to drill any holes or put any glue or anything like that on the interior of my car and wreck the, wreck the plastics. And we've got an auxiliary speaker, so that works out really well. And then, of course, like I said, the firewall, or I'm sorry, the power wire comes through the firewall, and there it is, terminated. And then we've got a nice ground here, terminated, and ready for the bill radio. And there's the mounting and I got some air holes back there and, uh, of course, holes for the, oh boy, for the wires and stuff. Sorry about that. I'm trying to get the best, best frame here for you without shadows and all that crap. So that's what we got going on on the inside. So uh, I'm going to get on it and get this shit put together. All righty, everybody. Everything is all put back together and buttoned back up. The antenna is mounted on the roof and looking nice. And it looks like it'll just clear the garage door in full extension there. It's standing straight up. You can lean it back a few degrees, but uh, the best SWR is with it straight up and down. So that's how I have it here. Uh, very nice. So I got it mounted smack dab in the center of the roof for the best possible SWRs. And that's not smoke wave ratios. That is standing wave ratios. Once again, you can't adjust this antenna. It's pre-tuned at the factory. Um, and I figure the center of the roof standing straight up will probably get the best performance out of this antenna. So 
I'm pretty happy. Uh, not too tall, and it'll go right out the garage here, no problem. And I don't have to mess with it at all. I don't have to take antennas on and off or anything like that. I just don't want to mess with it. I have to mess with it. I like to just drive right on out. And then the nice little coax running down into the back door window. And uh, it's nice that it's kind of thin because it makes it easier on the glass for the entry, if I can get that right, for the entry of the uh, coax coming into the glass there. So that makes it makes it easier on the glass with the thinner coax. And here you go right here. Doesn't look too bad if I don't say so myself. A little flickering on the screen because of the refresh rate with the camera. It actually runs pretty darn smooth. Uh, that is a 2007 Kenwood Exelon deck. Last of the real music CD music decks. Um, and not made by the JVC Kenwood company. JVC acquired Kenwood, so they make Ken Kenwood stereos now. But this one is a real Kenwood right here. And... The President Bill 1. That one doesn't have FM. FM's useless anyway. So the President Bill 1, and it fits absolutely perfect in its little cubby hole right there. I freaking love it. So there you go. I think it's fantastic, and I can't wait to use it. I hope it works as good as it looks. That's for sure. Once again, I don't expect to talk across the country, but hopefully across town. So I'm looking forward to using it. Looking, I'm really happy to have another mobile once again. That's for damn sure. Uh, it's been since 1988, since the, my last mobile, 88, 89, somewhere around there. So I'm super stoked. All righty, everybody. Here's a little uh, demo of the external speaker and how that sounds. Since there's no DX going on here at 3 in the morning here at the CB Lounge 2112, I'll just turn on the, the weather channel here for you. And you can hear hear how that sounds. Slight chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Highs 91 to 96. I do have a walkie-talkie over there, and I might just set the camera up here and go out maybe down the street, actually, and then key up on my walkie-talkie and uh, give a little demonstration that way as well after this demonstration right here sounds pretty darn good not too bad alrighty test 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 one two test one two from the realistic TRC two one I'm sorry two two five Test from the TRC-225 walkie-talkie, the realistic TRC-225 from 1993. I love this little bad boy. Hello, President Bill. Hello, President Bill. This is CB Lounge 2112. Can you read? Come on, come on. Attention CB loungers, attention CB loungers, we are testing the President Bill in the CB Lounge 2112 Subaru, and we are using that 1993 realistic TRC 225 walkie-talkie. Very, very nice, nice walkie-talkie, I must say. Hopefully we are sounding mighty fine in that Subaru. Alrighty, here's the uh, walkie-talkie that you guys just heard on the President Bill in the Subaru. Once again, it's a 1993 realistic TRC-225. Uh, I think it's one of their first modular walkie-talkies, meaning that the battery separates from the main case and stuff. So it basically uh, turns into three pieces with the antenna. So it's uh, really nice and easy to take with me on my motorcycle. So there we go, there we go. The end of the video, the end of the installation for the President Bill and the President New Virginia CB antenna here at the CB Lounge 2112. All righty, everybody. 
Thanks for coming along, and we'll see you in the next one. Aloha, my friends. Aloha.